Sometimes you feel like a nut. Hello farmers and welcome back to Mercury Farms, harvesting our last field, which happens to be sunflower. And uh, yeah, I have no idea what the price is going for right now, just logged in the game. Hopped into the harvester, came on over here and said, well, how are we going to sell off the farm this week? And I said, well, first things first, let's harvest the field so that way if the price is good, uh, we can sell it right away. If it's not, at least it'll be ready for when it is. So what I kind of plan to do today anyways, obviously, well, we're going to harvest some sunflowers to begin with, but uh, once I get a couple of headlands done, maybe send this guy off on a worker, and then I can get going on doing some other stuff like, well, I need to sell some more slurry and manure up from the cow barn, uh, and when we do sell the products from the animals, I either the, the milk, the eggs, the wool, what have you, we might sell off the animals at the same time. I don't know how I'm going to do that just yet. Or I may wait until we just, I go sell everything and then do it that way. Um, kind of playing up by ear as I sell off this farm this week. I'm thinking it's going to be two episodes, but it may leak into a third. I don't know yet. We'll see how far we get today. That can, I mean, you, you can get a feel as well. You know, you know what we have, what we have to sell. Um, it's not that much more to sell. It's just a matter of how much time it takes me in real time to do all this stuff. I mean, it's quite a bit of stuff to sell here. Uh, as for selling the machines, it's not too hard. I can just go right to a repair area um, and sell it right from there and get my 20... I think I get 20% right from my workstation. I don't have to bring it all the way back to the store. I think that's the case. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong on that, but that's the way I always thought it is. And I think I tested it once, but that was back in, like, 17. I haven't tested it in 19, so if it changed, then uh, I'm going to get screwed. But uh, we'll see how it goes. And I don't want to sell no nothing off for equipment, as, as far as equipment goes, until I definitely know <laughs> that that uh, everything must go. So yeah, this will be the last week of Mercury Farms. I mean, this should be episode 90? on Mercury Farms, that's a lot of episodes. And, uh, yeah, it's time to, for me to move to a new map. Unfortunately, like I, I've said this quite a few times on the Pacific Northwest, and probably on here, um, obviously everything that we sell here, that money's going to be transferred over to the Pacific Northwest. And this, both of these maps now will be on the one, which is the Northwest. What's going to take place of this was hopefully a Seasons series, and I've had my eye on four maps. And it looked like they were all going to be ready when I, you know, I said, well, geez, I'm going to have a, when I thought about leaving Mercury Farms about a month ago, I said, okay, I'll, I'll give myself a month. And by then, those maps probably should be out. And they're not. <laughs> not any of them. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Uh, Unless a miracle happens in the next week, I'll, we'll figure something out. We may, we may could just run the Pacific Northwest all next week. It's not like I don't have money I got to make up on that series. <laughs> uh, but our goal here this week, anyways, on Mercury Farm, obviously, is sell everything. And once again, fingers crossed that we get $10 million from selling everything. Land, equipment, uh, running into hedges is not, not going to help things. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of the plan anyways. So, yeah, what I want to do, like I said, is clean up the area a little bit around here. Uh, get a couple of headlands done so our worker has no problems. We're going to look at the market. Uh, just get a double check on farm status. Uh, how much manure the cows have and how much slurry they have. Because obviously I would want to sell it at the BGA to get some digestate. Because, yeah, we saw what digestate does in this map. Uh, we get a good amount of cash for it. That's, so that's what I want to do first for the cows. And of course, something in manure takes a while just because of the way the manure system works in that cow shed. And uh, yeah, before I get talking too much, I got to keep an eye on my harvester. Now, I just did an episode of, uh, recorded an episode of Farmer's Dynasty where I was, well, well, you'll find out in a couple hours, but yeah, I was harvesting. 
and that harvester there pretty much tells you when, uh, hey, stupid, you're getting full. Uh, you know, even though I got a meter in the bottom right hand corner, it doesn't have a hey, stupid, blinking light on the harvester when it's almost full. That's what I need. So, also, we got to remember what is completely in our silo. I got to sell everything out of the silo in order for me to sell it because I can't sell the land with placeables on it. So, everything in the silo must go. Uh, let's see, we're at almost uh, 10,000. There we go. And of course, we're way at the other end. I just watched my truck and trailer because I logged in the game. I looked at my Volvo truck and I said, what what have you been doing? That thing was so messy. It was unreal. And I was like, I don't know. I mean, I'm transferring stuff around, obviously, but... You want to start there? There we go. Hit the button one too many times. So let's go around here and collect some sunflower. Yeah, but this thing was a total mess, and I said, well, I better watch the trailer, because did I have manure in this last? I have no idea. Not a clue what I had in here last. So we're starting this week with 15 grand. Actually, I think it was more like maybe 10 grand when I logged in, but our beehives and orchards and stuff are going to town, obviously. I say obviously a lot, but that's obvious, isn't it? Uh, let's unload this guy. Why well, he's unloading? I guess we can kind of look at the market. What's going on for some flowers today? Yeah, not that's not bad, but I like to see 12. Um, canola, I got 14,000 liters of that. Wheat, um, you know, I, I don't think I need any for the chickens. Uh, what else do I have in store? Obviously, we got eggs, but the eggs prices aren't good. Wool prices are not good. Milk price. Mm, we might be selling some milk today. 1368 and climbing. That's not too bad. Uh, I got tons of straw and hay. Okay. Uh, as for the cows, yeah, er everything's getting low. So that's why they, they must go. So yeah, we might be getting rid of the cows. Uh, they might go another day with that much. I mean, they're not going to die. So I don't have to worry about it. It's not seasons. Uh, yeah, it looks like I'm selling slurry and manure. I got to sell some of that. I got a good amount of milk. Uh, wool, that doesn't really tell me how much wool we have, I don't think. Uh, the chickens, yeah, they're getting kind of low on everything as well. So yeah, the animals are like, uh, dude, what's going on here? They usually keep us well fed and, um, it's getting kind of low. What's happening? Well, you're going to be sold to the livestock market, in a way. I mean, technically you're staying here in the farm, but I got to sell you to figure out how much all this is worth. So I don't know if I want to sell everything on camera and you guys come along with me. Or, uh, when I mean sell things, I mean the equipment and the land and all that so we can actually see how much this is actually worth. Like I said, I hope in, in FS21 they have like a little indicator that lets you know how much your farm is worth. Because in multiplayer, which I don't get involved in much with because my internet connection kind of sucks. But... In multiplayer, you can have farms competing against one another. So, I mean, does it show your value of your farm? Does that include... I mean, does it, I think it does it just show your money that you have? Or does it consider, like, your equipment and your placeables that you have as well? That's the kind of thing I would like to see what your farm is worth. Meaning your machines, your placeables, your land. Alright, so when I get down and get it here, I'll have two headlands done. This harvester should have no problem going around. Now I just realized I just unloaded into the wrong trailer. I wanted to use the other trailer that the dude's car is hooked up to because I want to use our trailer in the Volvo to start unloading manure. I guess it doesn't matter which trailer I use. Because the BGA can only take 50,000 liters anyway, so why bother with 90, a 90,000 liter capacity trailer when the BGA can only take 50? So unfortunately, as we just saw, the prices on everything, I don't know, I may not be selling anything today uh, other than the milk. 
so I'll have to see how that comes along. Uh, it's 1.30 in the afternoon, so maybe later in, the, later in the day when the milk prices keep going up. So we might be just selling everything as is tomorrow. Because, I, I know, after we harvest this field, I got no more field work to do, so I can maybe start selling off some of the equipment and whatnot. Alright, so that should be a good enough straight line. Alright, so I'll, I'll be doing some shoveling back and forth here, but we're going to let this guy go off, and we're going to grab the juice bar and that trailer over there. I hope that trailer takes manure. I'm going to say it does. Uh, you should be fine on the worker there. So let's hop over here to our juice bar. And let's head on up to the animal farm, which I remember way back, like in episode one or two, I was all hyped up. I said, yep, we're going to run a dairy farm. We're going to have like two cow barns. And, and, and then months later, I still only have one cow barn and we haven't filled it yet. So, yeah, to fill a cow barn, a large cow barn, you got to do a lot of filling. Man, this deuce fire is great. I would love, I, I would hate to say, have this as my main tractor on my seasons map. Just because of the extra horsepower. The T8 is great, but it does lack... Oh, the belt is not here. All right, so I need the belt. All right, so we'll drop that off. All right, so I need to head to the BGA. <laughs> That's where the belt is. I need to grab the belt so I can fill this gap with the manure. I guess I could have used the, uh, the bucket on front of the case, Puma. But we're just going to make things easier. I mean, that's a hunt over almost 175,000 liters, was it, of manure I got to transfer over. So that's quite a bit. And really, for how fast the dude's car does go here, it won't take me long to get there and back. So, yeah, give me a few moments to get some more things situated here. And I'll bring it back. Probably more selling some manure at the BGA. That, that always sounds like fun. Got the belt up at the cow pasture, cow barn, animal pasture. I call it everything, don't I? Uh, so I unloaded what I could out of the pit into the back of that trailer, which it does accept manure, which is good for me, I suppose, because I don't have to use just this trailer. I fired this worker here and uh, unloaded into the trailer. For some reason, the worker was kind of like, he was actually missing a couple spots here and there. Like, what dude, what are you doing? I usually don't have a problem after doing two heavens where you're missing spots. Yeah, so I took over. Um, I got to make sure I get it all. The more the merrier. I mean, this is sunflower. This is a good selling crop if it yields well. And it looks like it's yielding rather well. Hopefully we get maybe 40,000 liters out of here. Oh, we should. Yeah, we already got 20. Uh, yeah, we should. Should maybe 50? The shy of 50? Does anyone remember? Because I've done some flowers here before. Haven't I? I'm sure I did. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure we did. Uh, I'm probably thinking of canola, maybe. I don't know. Either way, I think, uh, I think it's going to be like 47, 48, maybe. That's, that's my guess. I do see a little bit of weeds here. I think when I weeded it, um, this is those field that I tried uh, sending a worker off using a weeder. And then the weeds hit stage two, and then I had to spray it. And um, I kind of guessed where the weeds were. I think with a sprayer, or said close enough, and uh, left it that way. That's what happens when you, you know, you do 90 episodes on a map. You start to get lazy when you have all the cash, and you keep kind of reminding yourself that the money that you earn here will help you on the Pacific Northwest. So that's what we're shooting for, anyways. Um, as for that bale, uh, on the Pacific Northwest anyways, that bale mod that I was using, uh, yeah, I, I've rechecked the XML file on that, and um, yeah, it does say spawn, spawn pallet capacity 20,000 liter on the XML file, but yet it's only spinning up 4,000 liter, so yeah, I'm not sure, 
maybe it's the scripting in the global company XML file that's changing it back to 4000. I have no idea. But, um, yeah, I'm going to lose some some uh, capacity on that because I put a lot of hay, a lot of bales of hay in there. And my bales are 20,000 liters and I'm only getting four back out of there. So that kind of sucks. Um, but hay is not too hard to make. But I did put some silage bales into the silage bale area and I lost... Uh, I may have to go back and look at the video and see how much silage bales I put in there because basically I'm losing 16,000 liters per bale. Yeah, 20, you know, so yeah. That's, that's good math, isn't it? Yeah, so I'm losing uh, 16,000 liters. The question is how many bales that I put in there. And I want to say I put 8 to 10 bales in there. So that's a lot of silage that's not being sold. And at roughly two hundred dollars per thousand liters, uh, yeah, that's my money, and I want it now. Um, kind of a thing. I think I'll unload the harvester at the end here. Sounds like a plan. I mean, I'm just about full. Uh, oh, don't step on the other side of the header, peanut. That could, that could, you know, that could hurt. Just saying. Uh, yeah, so nice clean truck today. drive on over and empty this thing and uh, probably the best thing to do at this point here this field because I got a lot of ways to go you don't want to hear me jabbering for that much so probably if we speed up time like you know like I always do at 800 times the speed uh, maybe find some kind of music I have no idea it's been a while since I've done a time lapse I think anyway so I'm due for one, and since it's the last, you know, it's the last, maybe the last time lapse on Mercury Farms, I think. I mean, it should be. I mean, how can I do it? Well, maybe I could do a time lapse of selling the vehicle, time lapse of selling the vehicles as well. Uh, yeah, that could be something we do. Uh, yeah, like I said, I really had no plans, which is not a good thing when you try to record a video. You should have some kind of a plan when you hit record and just go. Uh, most of the time, I don't have a plan. It's just. I kind of start the game and like, all right, where are we? I'm like, okay, first things first. That's why I jump around from place to place. And I have no idea what I'm doing because I never do. Uh, but the one thing I do know we're going to do is uh, speed up time. And I have no idea what tune's going in here. Um, yeah, maybe uh, the wheels on the bus go round and round. I don't know. Maybe. Could be. Let's hope not. get the rest of this harvest in the combine he says as he looks at the total going up faster than he realizes uh, but yeah I think we're going to be pretty close to my total I haven't really even paid attention how many times I've unloaded the combine so I don't know but it seems about right doesn't it alright so one more pass uh, let's hopefully I can get it all in probably get like right near the end I'll have like a few rows of, of sunflower left to harvest. I'm just like corn. 
That's what you get when you have a the corn, kind of like the corn header on there. And then we'll have to check the price on the milk. Uh, then head up there and also empty out some more manure out of the cow pasture into our trailer. Yeah, I think we're going to definitely sell the milk this evening. Because what's going to happen is, obviously, after it goes up, it's going to sit there at its peak for a while. And then in the morning, it's going to drop. And I don't want to sell it while it's low. I want to sell it while it's high. So, yeah, we'll sell some this evening. And, of course, we will get some more milk overnight, but not that much. Let's go ahead and fold up the header. So that is our harvesting done. Pile it on in there. How is the milk actually doing? 1438 and rising. Uh, that's what we want to see. Perfect. Keep on going up. Oh yeah, while I'm in here, I don't think some flowers is going to be doing anything. Hasn't been too long. Yeah, nothing, nothing there. But we'll see what the total is here. I guess I can leave the combine right here for now. I really just want to get the sunflower. Did I have sunflower in stock? I do. I got 58,000 liters in stock. That's good. Um, let's go ahead and put the pipe in. Nope. Boy, I'm hitting that button twice a lot today. Nope, nope. Get off the trailer. There we go. Uh, oh, just over 50,000 liters. Perfect. I think I said 47, 48, didn't I? I guess it's not too bad. Let's go ahead and put this into our silo. And then I'll probably just leave my trailer right here because I don't really need it up at the animal farm area for anything. I do need the truck though. So hopefully in the morning hours that price will be good. Leave that right there. Because the next time I use it, it'll be to empty the silo out of what we have. Uh, yes, I do. I was like, uh, do I have a milk tanker on here? Yes, I do. I could <laughs> had a pause for a second. Remember what I have for equipment on this map. You think I would know by now, but uh, yeah. You must be new here. How many hours do I have on the truck? 26 hours on this truck. Although sometimes I leave the truck running in the field when we're harvesting. So, you know, if it takes me like 25 minutes to harvest a field, the truck's sitting there just running for 26 minutes. Not going anywhere, so the hours are going on it. In seasons, I'll have to be more careful of that because the repair is done on how many hours the engine and equipment has been used. So, I'm going to try to sneak in here. Do I have water or anything in there? I do not. So, I think what we'll do is we'll prep. Well, this is uh, going to be interesting. Uh, we're gonna, I said we're going to prep for selling some milk by putting some water in there. Uh, do I got to turn that on and then turn that on? Yeah. I wish, I wish this would stay running when you're far enough away, but... You know, can't have it all. That does sound lovely going in there, does it not? Right, so we'll back this up for the time being. Open up the door. Straighten her out a little bit. Uh, yes, some milk, please. So, what I'm going to do is, obviously, uh, yeah, there's that word obviously again. We're filling up the milk trailer. That'll be ready to go when the price is good. I am going to go sell some manure here and there. Because i got to wait for that manure to respawn. So, you know what? I'm going to leave that truck right there. I might as well go ahead and take this guy right now because he can't get there anyways. 
that way the BGA can start processing. Oh, we got 23,000 liters here. Uh, you know what? You can take the journey with me if just for the just for one time. Watch me sell some manure because you know it's thrilling and so interesting to watch manure go into the BGA. Yeah, I, okay, I gotta remember with the dudes fire though. When you have a load on the back of this dudes fire, I need to wait for the front of this guy because it, it just takes so much weight out the front axle. Um, yeah, he. Uh, he either understeers or oversteers. And a lot of you are probably saying right now, no, nah, it, it's your driving. And yeah, I am driving too fast. Uh, always do. And I just remember, I think I could have a problem because I think I left the tanker down here and that might be in my way. I think I can sneak in there. Um, I do believe I have traffic turned off right now. Yeah, I turned it off last episode because it was all grouped together. And when you come out of there like, like I just did and the first car is coming along and you guys sit there. And I'm not kidding for over a minute. A minute's not that long, but uh, when you're sitting there waiting, it is. Uh, <laughs> so I had to, I'll be sitting there waiting for all the traffic to go. Then I got to follow behind them. Ugh. I think they do 25 miles an hour, and of course this tractor here can do a whopping 46. So there's a load of manure sold. That's not even a full load, but uh, at least the BGA's got something to process, and I brought some on down. So I'm going to head on back. I think uh, I may even speed up time just a little bit because the manure was spawned faster, and I can go up this trail a little bit faster. Uh, really, we just want to get to where the milk has peaked, and then we're going to sell all the milk that we have. So, you know, we started this episode, like I said, uh, really, uh, it was like $10,000 that came back to. So, we made ten grand today just from our orchards. Uh, the lovely rabbits, that rabbit mod is OP. I won't be using that anywhere, but after, after here, for sure. I'll probably even uninstall it. I guess I could go with the XML file and edit it, but... Um, since you really don't do anything with a rabbit pen, uh, you know, it, that's why I don't, it takes the fun out of it. I don't have to feed the, the rabbits or anything like that. That's why I don't do like solar panels or anything either because I like the process of actually interacting with things that make me money. Right, so back here we are. Some manure has spawned. I will bark, bark in. I want to bark in this way. What? Bow wow. Um, yeah, so I will see you. I don't know when. Uh, we're just waiting for this guy right here to peek out. Um, so I'll see you whenever that is. Uh, this trailer just holds 62,000 liters. So, yeah, I will see you, well, in, in the future. Not much of a time travel because I think it's we're still in this same in-game in hour. And, uh, yeah, fourteen forty-four is a price it peaked out at. Uh, I have seen it in the upper 15s. I think once even in 16s. But, you know, we can't look the gifted horse in the mail. Uh, I have no horses here, though. So, we'll just go ahead and sell the rest of our milk. Yeah, so fourteen forty-four, And... Yeah, I'm going to have at least two more trips down here. One full trailer, or one full tanker. And then the other one should be like two-thirds of the way full. Uh, so 89 grand to start with, on our way to 10 million. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah I, I, 10 million, I don't know. Uh, I mean, the, those two fields right there is only 600,000. I shouldn't say only 600. It's something, right? Uh, yeah. 10 million, do you think we'll get there? I... We shall see. Uh, but on the way back to the cow barn, pasture, animal farm, place thing. Uh, refill. Deliver another one of $89,000. I'll bring it back for the third load. Yeah, and I'll make sure I keep filling up that with manure because everything must go. Uh, digest date is what's probably going to bring us the most money tomorrow, I think. Maybe. We'll see. Time to refill. This takes, this takes a while. 
All right, third trailer, two thirds full of milk on the way to the steel milk area. And I was thinking, I'm, we're going to sell these. Uh, there should be two plots of land right here, the livestock market field. I am curious. The reason why I want to sell them is I want to see what the AI does with those fields because I made them bigger. Now, I don't know if the AI is smart enough to use the extra, extra field that I, you know, plowed. Or is it just going to use what the base game had it as? So we're going to go ahead and sell this milk here. And then we're going to sell those two pieces of land. Uh, there is no... I don't have no placeables on those. I had to stop and think about that for a second. Yeah, I had no placeables on those, so I should be able to sell those. And the reason why I want to sell them today is because uh, we will be going to the next in-game day. By then, I would assume the AI will take over and plant. Now, the, the, now if we go to the map here, because we're going to have to go to the map either way, um, you can see this used to be five separate fields with trees in between them. And this here was all a grass field. So I don't know if the AI, what the AI is going to do with it. So let's go in here. I think, I think what I'll do is save game just in case... I have no reason, no idea why it would crash, but I don't know what the heck gonna, it's going to do. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're going to sell this one right here. Uh, the value of it is two thirty-two, so we're going to sell that, and we're going to go ahead and sell that as well. Two hundred thirty-four thousand. So there are those fields sold. Actually, you know what? While we're doing it, we'll sell this one too because I made that one extra bigger. Not extra bigger, but it is bigger. Um, nothing is on that one. Uh, I can't sell this up here. Whoops, no, that's the wrong button. Uh, because that is where all of our pastures are. Um, I can't sell this either because I do have the orchards on there. So I'll have to sell the orchards. This field here I can probably sell as well. May as well, right? We're gonna Nope, we're going to do it anyways. Some things got to be sold. Uh, we'll do all this later. So the question is now, hey, we're up to $1 million. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get to 10. Uh, <laughs> I kind of sold a lot of the big big stuff already. Although we got, you know, well, no, I can't see selling all the animals and uh, all the placeables. I can't see us getting up to $10 million. I just, I just don't right now. It seems like a long ways away. Uh, yeah, so I'll be interested to see when the next day he hits what the livestock market field looks like. Um, I don't know how long it takes for the AI to interact with a pre-purchase field. So I have to wait and see. Uh, meanwhile, with the manure, yeah, we're slowly working on that. Uh, it, it seems like it takes forever for that manure to spawn. Uh, it is every 15 in-game minutes. And once I leave the area, of course, you know, that's what it does. But I think what we'll do here is... Yeah, it's not even a full trailer yet. Well, let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and deliver this right now. And that's where we'll wrap up the episode when we get to the BGA and dump this in there. Just so I can get processing again. And what I'll do is I'll probably have to work through the night at probably 60 times or maybe 120 times the speed to keep loading up the trailer. Yeah, I need a wheel weight. Uh, yeah, wheel weight. I need... A, I do have wheel weights on here, but it's not enough to keep this tractor from going haywire once in a while. Yeah, so... Yeah, we got a million dollars, which sounds good, but after everything I just sold, it's like, ooh, boy. I'm trying to think what we got. What, two, three tractors? Right? It's only... We're, we're down to three, right? Yeah, I think we've always been at three. Well, not since not since the first episode. Uh, we kind of started with two and worked our way to three. And then upgraded from a small agro star to this guy. Um, yeah, so I think each track... Yeah, yeah, I probably got like $1.3 million worth of tractors when they're new. I don't know what they're going to be worth when they're used. I mean, a couple harvesters and... Wow, yeah, so not, not quite 10 million, I don't think. 
But I don't know. Maybe the digestate will help us out. And I can't see how much digestate we have. Because there's nothing here that I am aware of that tells me how much I have unless I put a trailer underneath this thing. I mean, in 19, I mean, excuse me, 17, you used to be able to come up to what would be the holding tank, which is this guy. And when you got close enough, you used to be able to see how much was in there. And, I mean, does it? Uh, no, it does not. I mean, I can take out my chainsaw. That's about it. Uh, yeah, no, nothing. No, nothing. Um, so I have no idea how much digestate is in there at the moment. Uh, I'm hoping 800,000 liters because that would be a lot of cash, but it's not going to be 800,000 liters. I have no idea. So I got a little more silage to sell as well. Um, the cows are not the cows are just going to go without when they run out. Uh, that's going to that's going to be it. And speaking of that's going to be it. That's going to be it for today's episode. Um, will tomorrow be the last one? I'm thinking so, but if not, that's okay because usually Mercury Farms runs three days, but. Uh, if we sell everything tomorrow, we sell everything tomorrow. If we don't, then uh, it might be a short video on Thursday. I don't know. We sold off the land pretty quick. Like I said, I could just do a time lapse of me selling selling our equipment. Uh, but when you sell your equipment, you kind of have to repair it first and sell it, which is not a big deal. Because you usually make a few dollars more on the sale than you paid for the repair, if that makes any sense. But anyways... Like I said, that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching, as always. And I'll catch you next time on Mercury Farms. But until then, have a good one.